Got a shipment today, delayed by one day by bad weather in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. A couple of sturgeon in there. We'll see what they look like. The first pair came in dead, delayed by one day by bad weather in Louisville, Kentucky. It's such a pity, beautiful fish. The vendor is gonna send me two replacements on Monday. Hopefully they will arrive in one day as they should instead of taking two days. These are white sturgeon, pretty rare to be offered in the hobby pretty much the first time I came across them in 15 years. Second try with the white sturgeon. This delivery came on time. We're gonna open up and see what it looks like. They look nice and lively. Great. The water is slightly murky and smells a little bit, but not, not too bad. They look good. But I don't know why they're so agitated. Maybe the ammonia. I just took them out of the bag. They really look like they're trying to get out of the water. They're hating their shipping water, so I'm gonna have to rush it a little bit. Go quicker and uh, put them in their new tank. This is unreasonable behavior for a sturgeon who are usually pretty phlegmatic and uh, slow and almost oblivious to anything, anything that's happening around them. Yeah, see this little guy was listing and rolling, rolling on the side, not a good sign. The bigger guy, as soon as he stops, he starts rolling on his side. And they're breathing really heavy. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so this turgeon is one eyed. Alright, but uh, my biggest concern right now is how heavy they're breathing and how distraught they are. So we took about, I want to say 15 minutes in acclimation. And I put them here as soon as possible. This is their new tank. The tank mates are going to be moved away right now. I intend this tank to be for them alone. Yeah, they came agitated already. They were quite agitated in the in the shipping bag. So I think the ammonia got to them. Hope they will recover with this ammonia burn. I don't think it's just the uh, stress of the shipping, but I may be wrong. one-eyed guys knocking around it's not good
So this water is uh, what I was taking out when I was acclimating them. And the ammonia in it is about 1 ppm. So it's diluted about 10 times. So the ammonia in the bag was 10 ppm. So when I open it up, uh, CO2 escaped and the ammonia started to getting released. It's a good thing I hurried as quickly as possible. Maybe I should have just floated the bag as I was advised by some. But the vendor said don't float the bag. Just watch for the signs of distress and acclimate by adding water. This is about five minute, uh, 10 minutes later. There isn't much change. The bigger one is really struggling. The smaller one is a little better, but breathing just as heavy. So they're, their gills have been severely burned by 10 ppm ammonia. Yeah, that's the same erratic swimming they showed in the bag even before I opened it. And then it got worse when I opened it. Yeah, so as soon as he stops, he starts rolling over just like he was doing. Even at the very beginning of the acclimation, when I just opened them up. I'm gonna measure the pH now to see what the pH is like. But I doubt it was the pH shop. The pH of this 10 times diluted water, the acclimation water, is about, I wanna say, 6.6. .6. So yeah, it's a little on the acidic side. It came acidified. Our pH is 7. 7.2. So, uh, ammonia on the right, pH on the left. So it could have been the pH, but I doubt it, because it was happening inside the bag as well, before I opened it. No big change here. Forty minutes later, no, no big change. The smaller guy is still doing all right, <laughs> better than the bigger guy, and this is consistent with the ammonia burn of the gills because the bigger fish need more oxygen, and it affects them worse often. We'll keep waiting for any improvement. taken out the tank mates yet because I don't know what's gonna happen if they both gonna perish there's no point to for now nobody bothers them not the gar not the tiger shovel knows none of them come even close to them they're all scared in the other on the other end anyhow hoping and praying for a miracle About an hour later, very little improvement. The bigger sturgeon seems to be able to keep its balance just a bit, a bit, a little bit better. But when he stops and uh, still turns over, rolls over. As you can see, both are still breathing very heavy. 
slowly taking all the tank mates out of here. Hour and a half later, there is a small but improvement. I think that breathing still heavy, quite heavy, but not as heavy as before. And the bigger guy is able to keep his balance a little better. Still rolls over, but for the most part, he's keeping up his balance. I removed all the tank mates, as you can see from here. This is about two, two and a half hours later. They're doing slowly, slowly, but better, still breathing heavy. You see how much red is in their fins, especially at the base of the fins. That means major stress. The blood rushes to the fins. When fish are stressed, same happens in humans when they're stressed. You see the big one is still listing to the right. But he's keeping his balance a little bit better now, see? He keeps listing to the right. And we'll give him more, some more time and hope for the best. All we can do. It's ammonia poisoning. Pretty obvious. To me, anyway. Three hours in the new tank, the breathing is very, very slowly. It's coming down. Still breathing a little hard. You see all the fins are red with blood in them. It's gonna take a while. This is about six hours later. I had to do some reshuffling so got a few little tank mates in this tank. None of them should bother the sturgeon. The breathing slowly, slowly. Gets 